This week starts week 10 of doing these vlogs and week 10 of just this hyper consistency. Um, I'm very, I'm fortunate to have these dudes that are committed to coming out. There's a, I don't know, a stable of four or five buddies now that are pretty consistently getting after it. And so it's, it's been really great to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of consistent cornerstones of the week and just kind of doing these metcons is, is I think it's a good way for these guys that are training once or twice a week to, you know, more or less touch most of most all of a lot of the functional movements in a given week. Um, at least I try and program the, these workouts to sort of be a, a good once over, even if you're just doing it once a week, although more would be better. But uh, this was another good one. So we did 10 minute AMRAPs again. I did the the bench press and the jumping pull ups to start, and I got through the round of 14s and sevens. So more than halfway, and then a few extra reps on the bench press there. So that was good. Um, this next piece here that Sam just completed, I had every I had these guys do 24.1, but you know, scaled in the load. The dumbbell was I think they were using the 20. But also, we just did a 10-minute AMRAP, so you kind of had a, a, a way out there pretty quick. Or not quick, but the guys both made it through pretty deep into the round of 15, which was great. And I was a little bit curious to try this again, but with a lighter load. I, I was pleasantly surprised that I did not get time-capped with the 50-pound dumbbell the other day. But I was curious what how long it would take me with the 30. So I basically shaved about three minutes off using the 30-pounder here. Um, I think I was 14.43 with a 50-pound dumbbell the other day, and here I managed to complete it in 11.48, so a little less than three minutes faster with that lighter load. And so I, the difference just was that I went unbroken on the dumbbell versus before I was breaking the sets, um, sometimes like two or three times. So I was just a little bit curious how much faster I would be. And then this last one was each one of these movements was a little bit different. The the 24.1 was obviously a heart rate. The pull-ups and the bench press was sort of just pacing so you don't kind of hit that uh, muscular fatigue wall. And then this one was more central nervous system kind of dealing with that odd object. So we started with two sandbag or D-ball over the shoulders and then two sandbag or D-ball squats kind of holding the sandbag in the not really the front rack, but just in front position like that. And then every round we would add one rep. So two and two, then three and three, four and four, etc. So this one, this one was tiring. Like it, it, I did not get as far into it as I wanted to. And I think I was just, I mean, it was my last, it was the last of the three 10 minute AMRAPs. So we took four minutes rest in between, except when I did 24.1, I wanted to actually finish it. So I, I took the better part of two minutes into the four minute rest to um, to finish that. So I didn't have a ton of rest before, off of 24.1 before I headed into this. So that probably didn't help. But I think a lot of it is just that odd object. It, 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 you know, it's pretty heavy. So it just takes a little bit out of you. So I got through the round of six and then I got the seven sandbag over the shoulders for the round of seven, but I did not get back to the front squats. So. I was, you know, I was happy with that. Um, and then we headed out to the cold tub. Now I put the water at 43 degrees rather than 39 because it's just been so challenging. So we, uh, we tackle that here for a short while. Yeah, I feel it right like I know you're here. Yeah. 
you. Let's go. Straight savage. Oh. <laughs> Man, I was feeling sorry for myself on this one. Um, it's hard to go second because you kind of got that body heat coming off the workout if you go in first. And then to be the, the odd man out, is, it, it, it's a, just a, a little bit more challenging, but whatever, it's no big deal. But I did not feel like going into this water at this point. But I was, I was just going to do like two minutes. The guys ended up doing like four and a half minutes. And I, I said right after they did it, I said, I'm not, whatever, bro. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing a couple minutes. It's whatever. And so I got in and I was feeling real sore for myself, but I just sort of closed my eyes and tried to zone out and just kind of settle into it. And I just didn't look at my watch and I didn't look at my watch and I didn't look at my watch. And by the time I checked the time, I was at four and a half minutes. So I went to five. So it, it's kind of amazing the difference between that 39 degree and this 43 degree water. Um, the next day, this morning, Tuesday morning after our workout, I jumped in again and I did, I just did two minutes and not cause I was dying or anything, but I just, I, I don't, you know, I don't have to do five minutes every time or anything like that. So I kind of want to do shorter stints sometimes. So I don't feel like I'm locking myself into anything. So anyway, it was good. Five minutes last night, two minutes this morning, 43 degrees for whatever reason is, is manageable. And at at 39 degrees, it just, it's, it, man, it's a hell of a challenge right now. So anyway, 43 degrees is, is just fine. So this brings us to this morning, Tuesday, Dave was in the garage with me and we did a couple of 10 minute AMRAPs. And basically what we did was a 40 foot walking shoulder rack, walking lunge. I was using the 30 pound dumbbells and then 15 knee ups and then a 40 foot bear crawl over that turf and just do that for 10 minutes and so I think I got I think I got four rounds maybe four rounds I got four rounds and the 40 feet of lunging that's what I got and then the second piece was over here Dave's working on it right now you know we'll show it in a second but these bear curls are tough man I, this is the second time I've done these and I, I remember the first time I was definitely feeling um soreness through sort of the muscles through my side the side of my torso because it just seemed to sort of stretch and kind of work things that you know don't normally get worked so that was kind of interesting and then these walking lunges I just there's some something about these lunges I just feel like they're it's a good thing to to work in there when it's nicer out we sometimes we'll do overhead lunges walking overhead lunges with a barbell in the yard but in the winter that turf is great to have so this one was a 9 12 15 rep scheme did nine deadlifts at 185 and then 12 box jumps at that box is 18 inches on that side and then 15 again <laughs> of these uh dumbbell ground overhead or dumbbell snatches so this is the third workout that I've done dumbbell snatching since Friday so that's kind of funny but anyway we got through that I think I did four rounds plus the deadlifts on uh, this one no, or four no plus the deadlifts and then a bunch of uh, box jumps so another good burner and that was Monday Tuesday peace <laughs>